Hello and welcome to Discover Dermatology. I'm Dr. Yasudian, a consultant dermatologist based in the UK. Today we will explore a skin condition that affects many adults but it isn't widely discussed. It's called poikiloderma obsavat. It's a chronic skin condition that is characterized by reddish brown discoloration on the sides of the neck and also on the face. The exact mechanism is not completely understood, but there are several contributing factors. Firstly, sun exposure, which is considered the primary cause. Ultraviolet radiation damages the skin over time, leading to the characteristic pigmentary changes. Secondly, photosensitizing agents. Chemicals found in perfumes, cosmetics, and even some medications can make your skin more sensitive to ultraviolet radiation. When these products are applied to the neck and chest, and sometimes even sprayed under the arms, and then it is exposed to the sunlight, they can contribute to the pigmentation of poikiloderma of sebat. Thirdly, hormonal changes. It's more common in women after the age of about 30 or 40, so perhaps a reduction in the estrogen levels may contribute to this condition. And finally, a genetic predisposition. Those with very fair skin are much more likely to get this condition than those with darker skin. What are the clinical features? It is mostly asymptomatic, but in some people it may cause some mild discomfort like itching. It's mainly the visual changes that people do not like. It gives a reddish brown hue, and this is because of a combination of pigmentation and the visible blood vessels as well. It typically affects the sides and front of the neck in a characteristic V-shaped pattern, sometimes extending to the upper chest as well. Interestingly, the area under the chin is spared as it is protected from the sun by our jawline. In most cases, the condition appears symmetrically on both sides of the neck. There are three subtypes that have been described by the authors in this review in an article published from Europe. They mention a pigmentary variety, an erythematotelangiectatic variety where the blood vessels are more prominent, and finally a mixed variety. This is the typical pigmentary type which involves the sides of the neck and spares the area under the chin. The next is the erythromotelangiectatic type where the blood vessels are more prominent. Finally, here is a mixed form that shows both the pigmentation and the blood vessels. It is important to note that poikiloderma of Sivac is not associated with any underlying systemic condition and therefore does not have any bearing to general health. How can we treat this condition? There's no cure for poikiloderma of Sivac, but several treatments can help manage the symptoms and improve the skin's appearance. Sun protection is the cornerstone of both treatment and prevention. Use a tinted sunscreen, this is a video I have done before, because that has broad spectrum and prevents pigmentary changes. Wear protective clothing, including high collared shirts and white brimmed hats. Let's look at the topical agents that can be used. Retinoids are creams which can help to improve the texture and reduce the pigmentary changes in the skin. Examples are tretinoin and adapalin, but remember that it can irritate the skin. Hydroquinone is a bleaching agent that can help fade the darker spots, but again it should be used carefully under medical supervision because excessive use can cause depigmentation or reduction in color. Azelic acid is commonly used and this can help both the pigmentation and the redness. Laser treatment can also be helpful. Vascular lasers target the dilated blood vessel and therefore reduce the redness. Examples include pulse dye laser and KTP laser. Fractional lasers can help with the overall skin textures and pigmentation. It's important to note, however, that the treatment results can vary and a combination of approaches is possibly required. Lasers can also cause post-inflammatory depigmentation or hyperpigmentation, so it should be used with care, particularly in those with darker skin. Finally, prevention and lifestyle changes. Whilst we can't always prevent poikiloderma of Sivat, especially if you have a genetic predisposition, we can take steps to reduce our risks. Avoid photosensitizing products. This is the most important step. Be cautious when you're using perfumes, colognes or cosmetics on sun exposed areas or even under the armpit because if you can smell it, it's already come on the skin. Try and use roll-on if it's really required. These antiperspirant roll-ons do not spread to the surface of the skin on the neck. Smoking can accelerate skin aging and therefore it can predispose to the development of poikiloderma. So quitting smoking is very effective. Finally, have a healthy diet. A rich diet in antioxidants found in fruits and vegetables may help protect your skin 
from sun energy. Again, there's a video I've done before. I hope you found this information helpful. Stay healthy and take care of your skin.